Hello Tabor team, we'll have a short video here on safety items brought forward to Jose, brought forward to me by Jose in building number one last week. The first item was the Strybig machine, there's a broken metal piece so the saw could potentially kick back if it hits that when you're pulling it down. The second item was the way we were pouring acetone. Sometimes we'd pour it through a funnel, it would fill the bottle, then the bottle would kick back and hopefully get it into the can, but sometimes on the floor. And then the third item was the saw by the bathroom in building number one. The tape measure is worn out, so an operator needs to go and make a measurement between the stop and the blade, and that's potentially very dangerous for fingers. So Jose will explain some of this stuff coming up. So that's a safety hazard, because that's where the blade goes. You see the blade cuts? How about if sometimes the blade goes in? And if the blade goes into the metal, the this one can have a sensor. So I'll bounce back up. Okay, here's the way we're pouring the acetone. So you can see as the funnel empties out, it fills the bottle. The bottle's got too much acetone in it. And then we try to get it back into the can, but lose some on the floor. So we're going to get a better container to, to for our pouring method. Here's the worn out tape measure. So you have to go to the blade to make the measurement. Hey, I don't want to do Can you explain it? Oh, well, but you gotta come over here, guys. When something touches the blade, a finger or this sensor will go down and stop the blade from running. So it won't get, it won't cut your arm or your finger off. Or if you're cutting metal, and right. make sure that the metal piece doesn't bounce back at you. Yeah. And it's right there. Thanks again, Jose. These are three great items, and everyone else, please come forward with any issues you have regarding safety.